It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot Model 790, home for the Ricky Smiley morning show. Of course, you know it's your fault, B High. Radio shout it, man. Stepping in the building, I got an eight time legend in this thing. A uh-huh. down south Georgia boy, man. I'm yeah. talking about P Trouble. What's good with man, it, my you dog? Know, man, nah, gangs, how you feel today, baby? Yeah, yeah, feeling I... good, feeling great. I mean, you just tore down the birthday bash weekend as yeah. usual. I yeah. mean, what was that experience like? Oh, it's cool, man. You know, like I always tell people, man, it's like a family reunion birthday bash weekend, yeah. man. So it'll be good to see everybody and do my thing. I mean, Ghetto Mafia, they said there need to be more folks like Troy out there showing love, man. Because, yeah. I mean, you brought Wicked out there to turn up with yeah, you, man, though. Yeah, man, they're my fam, man. You know what I mean? But that's what it's all about, man. Everybody pulled somebody, man. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Them was the boys before me. Goody Mob, them, and Outcast. Yeah. Everybody else pretty much after. So mm-hmm. everybody be pulling somebody, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? I can that's definitely. the only way it's going to work. I mean, speaking of your time, man, I mean, Troy, you came in there with that no more player GA, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, you killed the game with that. Man, I- but the crazy part about it is, man, people don't even know, that's the first time I ever went to the studio, the first song I did. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah man. When you recorded that song in the studio, when you were playing that thing back, did you know it was going to go all the way down? I, it was straight. I knew it was different. Yeah. I was listening to it, man. This was back when... The, they gave you a tape at the studio, man. We had yeah. a tape. I ain't yeah. even had no CD of it. So yeah. while I'm listening to it, straight, it was just no more playing GA. Yeah. On the last day of playback and everything, man, listening to the whole album, I said, man, give me another track, man. Let me go add something to the hook. And yeah. Put that We Ready on the top of it. Well, I'm so glad I went back in that studio. I don't know what to do. I mean, speaking of We Ready, we were just talking about Birthday Bash. True, I can recall some years ago, man. Yeah. When Miles the P was the biggest thing in hip hop. Yeah. And he was at Birthday Bash trying to sing his song. But no the happen. crowd wouldn't let him sing his song because <laughs> they were too busy saying they were ready the whole damn time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that feeling like when you saw your people standing up for you at Birthday Bash? Man, you know, I actually wasn't even there. Get out of here. Man, nah, man, I wasn't there because uh, they had me took off the show. They, what? They replaced me with P. Oh! Yeah, man, they replaced me with P. Shame on y'all, man, for taking Patrick <laughs> Troy off that show. But it was perfect for me, man, because it all worked out so good. They really just didn't know that the streets had flip flop. You know what yeah. I mean? You got to go and stick with down what's going on in the streets. Exactly. The radio station, they still Some looking at they the don't thing know. like, oh, yeah, they were just it late is. to that party. You feel me? They were just late to that party. Goody Mob, though, brought me out on that show, man. Yeah. I still see CeeLo saying, ATL, we stick together, man. We ain't let nobody come down here and turn around our folks. <laughs> come on, Troy. Man, when he brought me out on that stage, man, and yeah. that beat dropped. Ooh. Boy, that's a vision, man. I wish I, I, I wish they would have had camera phones and shit yeah. for that, boy. <laughs> that was a vision. Speaking of that, man, I mean, a vision that I had of you, Troy, I'm going to take it back to about 2001. Yeah. The bounce on Bankhead. Yeah. Now, if you know the bounce, a lot of rappers didn't make it out of there with their jury, Troy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you know. and there was a Pastor Troy in the bounce with yeah. his belt jumping in the crowd singing man, his song. Having a ball. What man. was that experience like for you knowing that the people were rocking with you that hard in one of the hardest hoods and hardest clubs in the city, but they just had that response to your music? Man, like dog, man, respect is the thing that this thing all about, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I paid my dues to it, man. I, I kept it so true with it, man. It ain't been nobody that I ain't paid. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could. Yeah. You feel me, man? And that just changed, you know what I mean? The rap game that I was in and accustomed to man you had to live by it yeah right now you ain't got to live by it it's just social media man you can sit down tweet take your couple pictures with a gun <laughs> send it around and nigga think you bad and exactly. all that shit so it was just a different game you know mm-hmm. it was put up a shit up mm-hmm. back then now it's just however y'all boy want to do it you know however y'all doing it in the city you was coming out for booty shake and the conscious music with outcast in the dungeon and goody yeah what made you get crunk you know what? The A was rocking with Master P so hard. Yeah. Hard. Yeah, I remember. And I was trying to get in the game. And they wasn't, you know, the niggas wasn't even giving me no no play. They just, <laughs> Master P crazy, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was just like, man, fuck that shit, man. Yeah. Y'all niggas got to listen to what I'm talking about, man. I ain't tripping on nobody, man. Yeah. This what's up. There's some real niggas down here. some real shit going on down here, too. That's right. Just made niggas look at home instead of goddamn keep looking out the window. Exactly. Yeah. Now, when you got that movement crump, a lot of folks that wanted to get into that movement, they needed a co-sign from Troy to really be able to pass. Yeah. One of my favorite features you got is with that boy Banner. Yeah, yeah. And fuck them niggas. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what it was like putting that junk together, man. Man, you know, Banner was my boy, man. Yeah. You know, I know Banner from his days of 
coming to my studio, man, sleeping in his van over there on Fulton Industrial, grinding a little brother that yeah. wanted it. You know what I mean, yeah. man? Anytime he come over there, as soon as he come to the city, I'm right there on 20. I'm the one-stop shop. Come on, man. What? You need to sell a beat right quick? Yeah. Give it to me, man. I got you. You know what I mean? And I love Banner, man, for he is one of the dudes that really acknowledges mm -hmm. who I am and what I did and brought to this thing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? He let people know quick that he learned his all his game from watching me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And it's cool because some people just have too much pride to say that. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. man? So I respect Banner a lot, a lot for that, man. You know what I mean? Just, I look back, man. Mm -hmm. It was a time where you... Every rapper out of Atlanta, excluding Gucci, excluding Gucci, and probably just a couple others. But every rapper after Pastor Troy yeah. had a Pastor Troy verse on their shit. Yeah. From the looter, from the yeah. tip, from the well, Jeezy, everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like, boy, you better get your Troy verse. Lil John, all that, man. Boy, you better get your Troy verse. All the Trillville stuff yeah, like that. All yeah, the Oomp Camp stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. They were killing a whole bunch of shit. I killed everything, man. I mean, that throw it up was crazy, man. Oh, uh, still is crazy, man. But what's, a, what's the craziest part about it is, man, those songs were big as they were, man. And there wasn't even no videos for them motherfuckers. Ooh. There wasn't no video for Throw It Up. There ain't no video for No More Playing GA. It ain't no video for We Ready. Now what kept you from shooting no videos for them? My money wasn't right yet yeah. to protect myself. Yeah. You feel me, man? Niggas was in some real ass shit, so you gotta yeah. be careful about how you do that shit. I had all that shit going on. Them niggas ain't know what I look like. <laughs> you feel me? Gangsta shit, man. But when you dropped the videos, though, man, I mean, that this the city. Yeah, man. I mean, that track was so face. damn hard, though, man. I yeah. mean, how did you go about selecting your tracks for your music, though, Troy? Because a lot of your music behind them lyrics was hard, too. Man, you know what, bro? I made the majority of those beats, man, oh. because niggas wasn't giving me the sound I was looking for. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had calling this nigga, he giving me some shit. I'm like, yeah, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> Call this nigga, he giving me this. Nah, that ain't it. Yeah. I went on, by the time I finished doing all that, I went on and bought me a drum machine yeah. and just started trying to figure that motherfucker out myself. Exactly. And goddamn, just coming with them sounds that was in my head. You know what I mean? And man, one thing that I really hate, man, that I really hate what? is that I let Universal tell me that that sound wasn't work, it wasn't going to work in the mainstream. We changed the mainstream, man. Exactly. We changed the mainstream. Everything sound back to exactly. no more playing GA, them same snares, them yeah. same tap. Even the damn guitar yeah. on this the city. Yeah. I came with that guitar on that shit. They were like, this thing will never work on Urban Radio. That Are you ain't serious? Work. Hell yeah. But years later, party like a rock star, yeah, 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 and all that stuff right back in Universal. Them exactly. same folks that told me this shit won't work. Nigga was just got down just so far ahead of his time, man. How is it though? Because a lot of times when you are that far ahead of your time and you running and you taking all these bumps and bruises for the mm -hmm. game, because even when you look at some of the artists that came after you, mm -hmm. you know the ad libs were similar, yeah. the swag was a little similar, yeah, yeah, yeah. and some of them might even been a flat out baby Troy. Yeah, you see yeah, what I'm I saying? A bunch of babies now. Yeah, I'm glad they ain't putting the child support all these damn <laughs> kids out here around this motherfucking city. <laughs> But it's all hood, man. You know, I remember a time, man, Universal was just signing up everything that yeah. was hot out of Atlanta, man. Anything yeah. that sounded like Pastor Troy, you had a deal. I'm talking about every nigga down here was sounding sound of me, man. They were yeah. killing me. Yeah. I'm hearing shit and thinking it was me. <laughs> like, God damn. So, just to be able to shape all these motherfucking imitators off a yeah. nigga, man, and yeah. still stand up and be yeah. the, the real McCoy. Exactly. I got damn. I could myself. But I mean, you see that, that years later though, when you hitting that birthday bash stage yeah. every year, yeah. singing that same song and getting that same reaction Respond. every time. Yeah, man. Everybody can't get up there and do that. Yeah, you man. see what I'm saying? I'm blessed. Man. But not yeah. only were you a gangster, but you were still a player though, Troy. Damn right. I mean, you made them get their money right. Damn right, bro. Tell me about that song right there when you made that for the strip club. How was that? Man, beautiful time in my life, man. Let me tell you, that was Drama Boys. First oh, payment man. for a track. That's the first track that he had slung and sold down here. Are you serious? Probably about 17 years old. Drummer boy. To go on and do all those beautiful mm -hmm. things he did, man. Bro, anything going on around this motherfucker, it's yeah. going to come back to me. Ooh. Anything. Producers, whatever. You rap, whatever, nigga. It's going to come back to me. 
what was it like when you dropped that and you realized that not only Troy could get these boys in here bouncing and throwing some bowls, but you could also get the girls to shake their ass? Man, the girls, man, they got down with this shit so hard, man, because we started showing them love with just the whole DSGG, down yeah. south Georgia girls, down yeah. south Georgia boys. Yeah. Man, it ain't nothing for me to goddamn step out, female step to me, hey, Pastor Troy, look. <laughs> with a stamp tramp DSGG across the back DSGG oh, man. legs and shit like that yeah. I'm talking about bro white man I was in Alaska yeah white boy stepped straight up to me man and showed me DSGB on his arm in Alaska in Alaska yeah man I said this shit here we yeah, did you something you just had that a damn igloo yeah, you man, got man. DSGB you on your arm. I said man that shit there that's alright oh man that's, that's alright that DSGB shit it just hit niggas so hard man because we made everybody feel a part of it. Exactly. I didn't push Pastor Troy. I pushed DSGB. That's right. You That's know, right. and from DSGB, man, throwing them letters out like that, man, everybody came back with their letter game. Yeah. CTE, DTP, <laughs> PSC, everything always going to come back to me. That's cold. That's cold. But having a movement going so strong, what was it like when you realized that, you know, one day you got a beat machine about big as a calculator, the next thing you know, you got a legion of folks yeah. waiting on you to give them the word on what to do? Man, dog, it's beautiful. It's, uh, the biggest thing, man, that I done had to deal with is the responsibility. Ah. You feel me, man? Yeah. It's a responsibility, this shit. Yeah. A lot of these niggas ain't got no responsibility. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say, nigga. You ain't got no responsibility. Mm hmm I do. Mm hmm You feel me, man? Mm -hmm. So, it's a big difference. You know what I mean? If I just grab that goddamn pen and crank up that chopper shit, man, yeah. on them niggas, man. Some niggas gonna get fucked up out there, man. So you gotta be careful how you get that shit, man. Like, yeah. you giving it to them. You gotta explain it to them. That's right. You know what I mean, man? That shit is heavy, you know what I mean? I'm one of them niggas that got that kind of music, man, that make them niggas react and crank that shit up. Now, you don't yeah. know how many clubs I done got them rock and left up out them motherfuckers, man, that turn on the news and sad story out of y'all, y'all. You know what I mean? And them niggas is well, I'm running from it. Them niggas begging for it. Yeah. You feel yeah. me, man? I'm running from it. Them niggas begging yeah. for it. So, I'm going to see how long they last. You know? Speaking of that situation, man, I mean, you made that tribute to Doe B, man. Yeah. What was your thoughts about that, man? Man, uh, it was crazy, man, because I was talking to my father. You know, everybody know my father's a pastor. Yeah. Still, you know. And uh, just the Doe B joint. I was just talking to my dad about the shooting in Charleston. Yeah. You know, and I was asking my dad, you know, Dad, how, how did that make you feel? Mm. You know what I mean? He was just like, it just made me feel so numb. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. at my workplace to be in the pulpit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For that to happen at a church yeah. where I yeah. stand and do my thing. Exactly. Exactly how he felt was how I felt about Dobie. Oh, man. A nigga that got killed at my workplace. Yeah. Man, that shit was difficult. That next night I got on the next show I did, man, yeah. after that. You should have saw my eyes across that motherfucking stage, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm in that motherfucker and it's just only natural. You know exactly. what I mean? Man, I'm around that motherfucker like Who in it be? Who in it be? What in it be? Yeah. what are these niggas thinking? Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm standing up on this stage rapping to all these spirits. Every nigga in this motherfucker looking at me thinking another goddamn thing. Yeah. Nigga think I'm rich. Nigga think I ain't shit. Yeah. Motherfucker think, man, is this nigga real? Yeah. Another motherfucker I love him to death, better not about fuck with him. Exactly. I'm looking at all these goddamn spirits, man. Yeah. And you gotta be able to control all that shit. How have you been able to control it? Cause like I said back at the bounce, you jumped out there with him. That's how you control it. Yeah. Letting them know that you a part of it. Exactly. You feel me, man? You exactly. can't goddamn man. Psh. You hit the club, man. You hit the club with all that goddamn ha ha rah rah shit, man. Yeah. Them niggas ain't with that, man. You gotta learn it's a way to move around, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we moved around 15, 16 years of still doing shows, doing love. Man, I hit shows like Columbia, South Carolina. The niggas that was at my first show in mm -hmm. Columbia, South Carolina was at my last show goddamn two weeks ago. Shh. You feel me, man? Yeah. Yeah. With it, these my 15 year partners now, man. Exactly. Can't wait to do a show up there because I know I'm about to hook up exactly. with an army of niggas who been fucking with me, man. We done the grew up time. together, exactly. protecting each other and shit. So it ain't nothing to goddamn be in the club and just goddamn, hey man, what's happening? Mm -hmm. This nigga in here, you, you pick it up your check and you in here, you get yeah. your check, right? Yeah. So why the fuck you just sitting over here, man? Go goddamn tell these niggas what's up, man. Exactly. These niggas real. Exactly. I don't tell them nothing, I just keep on doing it. Yeah. You feel me, man? Then they get to these cities and shit like that. Them niggas asking them, 
then you fuck with Troy? I'll be like, yeah, I know you <laughs> damn do <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Another joint I got to ask you about, man, that vice versa. Yeah. When you threw the ad lib on there with that, yeah. yeah. Did you know that it was going down when you was playing that thing back? And then when you came up with the concept, what made you go ahead and take it that way with the concept? Man, the whole song, that vice versa, man, uh, I was just moving out of my parents' crib, man. I was just going to college for myself, being my own man, yeah. man, you know. And growing up under the protection of a pastor, growing, you know what I mean? I grew up, my father was a pastor, you know, yeah. when I was in the church like that, man. I had that protection yeah. because I was the pastor's kid, you know what I mean? I was really protected. Yeah. But down in Augusta, I ain't had that protection no more. I was out there in the real world. Exactly. I had to fend for myself. Yeah. And as I got out there, man, I saw a lot of the stuff that was good mm -hmm. was bad. Yeah. And a lot of stuff that was bad, motherfuckers felt like was good. Yeah. And man, that song, it haven't been more relevant than today. Mm -hmm. You feel me, man? Mm -hmm. Than today. A little nigga hit me on Twitter the other day and just was like, Troy, I finally understand <laughs> vice versa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I told him, man, that's good. Yeah. Because it ain't nothing to understand. It's about freeing yourself to get your own understanding. Exactly. That's what that whole thing is about, man. Thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. Not just necessarily rolling with what you hear. Yeah. You know what I mean, man? It might be a little bit different than that. Yeah. When you dropped it, did you know that it was a hit, though? Bro, man. What was so crazy about it, man? The first time that I said it, mm -hmm. I said it as a poem mm -hmm. at college. Mm. My homeboy had got locked up that day, man. I was like, shit, I don't feel like rapping tonight, man. I'm going to take it a different route. You yeah. know what I mean? I could have got fucked up with that nigga that same day. I'm talking about, like, this nigga walks in the trap. Mm. I'm walking behind him. Man, the only thing that stopped me from being side by side with him, I stopped on my little piece of paper, man, and wrote down a little lyric. Man, that nigga walked in that house, bro. My next step is into the yard. Mm -hmm. The knocks hit it. Boom! Mm. This nigga got a felony. Charged over like a half a brick. This shit changed that man's life that day. My next step was in that yard. Only I'm following him on into this house. Exactly. So man, that night, of course I ain't feel like that shit. Yeah. Man, I went on and said that poem. Man, they booed my ass so goddamn <laughs> bad in that motherfucker boy. I'm talking about booed the goddamn shit out of me, man. Yeah. Cause it was just so much they they didn't get it. You know yeah. what I mean? This was a damn Christian school, so yeah. called. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's more drinking and fucking exactly. and all this shit going on in this motherfucker. You know? Yeah. So, man, I said that joint, and the broad was like, "He the Antichrist? Oh, he the Antichrist?" I was like, "What, shit. bitch? This bitch done called me some heavy shit." Yeah. I was like, "Man, I gotta chill on my suppose I ain't yeah. fucking with this shit for a minute." Mm -hmm. Man, about two, three years later. I heard that beat. Mm. I told the nigga, boy, I got something for this shit. Bro. Yeah. Man, when I rapped that shit, bro, I just rapped that shit. I had been holding it for two years. Yeah. Man, when I finally said that shit, that's why it sounded like that. Yeah. You feel me, yeah. man? Yeah. And then couldn't got down. I couldn't. That wasn't me. Yeah. That wasn't me. Yeah. I couldn't do that shit. Again, goddamn, I tried, man. Them niggas got that. Man, try, boy, write another bunch of verses, <laughs> nigga. If it was that easy, nigga, I have ten of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit. How much hell did you catch when you dropped the song then? Man, I didn't really catch a lot of hell from it. Uh -huh. People just latched to it. It was like that was what they was waiting on. It was just like so many people was waiting to say that, yeah. but nobody said it. You yeah. feel me, man? And all it was was a simple question. Mm -hmm. What if? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, motherfuckers sit around and ask if questions all goddamn day. Yeah, yeah. So don't goddamn hold my little if question with no more accountability than anybody else. Exactly. If question. Another if question. I mean, <laughs> if I wasn't rapping, we yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah. Tell me about that one. That track was hard as hell on that one, too. Man, that was beautiful, man. Pimp C was actually down yeah. at that time, man. And I just knew that they needed something. To keep them rolling, man. Exactly. You know what I mean, man. Shit, we still, I still paid pimp for that verse, just for being able to throw the if I wasn't rapping yeah. baby on the hook. That's how real niggas do it. That's how it used to be done. Mm -hmm. I don't know how niggas do it now, but that's how it used to like be that. done. I know yeah. they ain't doing it like that. Man. I know they can't be doing it like that. Man, I'm talking last night. Eight Ball and MJG were hanging out with me over at my studio, man. Yeah. Just to be able to look 
at my sofa and see these two niggas that I listen to. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, in my earphones to get them niggas respect, man. To have these niggas sitting in my goddamn living room, man. I just yeah. be like, man, I did it right. Exactly. You feel me, man? I exactly. did it right. I did it right. I mean, what was your relationship with those old school folks like UGK, 8 Ball and my stuff boy, like that? My boy, man, my boy, you know. And how much mentorship did you receive from them when you was coming up in the game? Man, dog, it's been so beautiful. My ride been so beautiful, man, from mm -hmm. Dre, Big Boy, like I say, the whole Good and More. Mm -hmm. These were the boys who I was opening up for mm -hmm. and getting my feet wet with this goddamn shit, man. Pimp C. Love me to death, man. Soldier Slam, all those boys just showed me so much respect for taking that stand. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? When nobody got down, mm -hmm. do it. You yeah. know what I mean, man? MJG, Uncle MJG. You know what I mean, man? Yeah. Just learned so much from that nigga, man. Just yeah. a simple talk. It just feel good to have somebody that you can ask mm -hmm. that know. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's done been there before, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's some beautiful shit. It'd be a lot of little niggas asking me. Mm -hmm. But it feel good to have me somebody that I can turn around and ask too. You know exactly. What I mean? Now, coming up in the game when you took that stance, man, I mean, that was a powerful stance against somebody that had a lot of power at that time. Yeah. Did you catch a lot of backlash in the industry for doing that? I call you know, a lot of backlash in the industry because them niggas ain't no leaders. Everybody's some goddamn followers and shit like that. You know what I mean? Troy, man, ooh, you did some Master P. All these niggas in Atlanta. Wasn't yeah. nobody with that shit till it passed and <laughs> went to bumping. Now everybody ready. So I don't be tripping out that shit. Yeah. I mean, now looking back at your career, what yeah. were some of the highs that you enjoyed that you said, you know what, I done made it? All this hard work, it done paid off. Yeah. Um, you know what? Those moments gotta be quick yeah because you get lost in mm. you feel me, man you gotta make them moments quick yeah so you can make you some more moments yeah and see some more shit again you feel me how hard do you find yourself working today to try to keep up with who you was and who you still are um i think that i think that it's it's definitely more difficult because mm -hmm. like i said i always go back to that responsibility mm -hmm. you know what I mean man these niggas expect yourself from me man you know what I mean you know even when I make the ignorant music I mm -hmm. still try to goddamn explain that shit to them niggas exactly. man. you know what I mean just try to explain that shit to them niggas man cause it's real charges and shit to come along with some of the shit that we saying in this goddamn exactly. record nigga. you feel exactly. me man shit exactly my boy we got them praying for Ross out there man you know mm -hmm. I, I, like as I thought about a lot of my highs my lows. Yeah. Was fucking around out there in Fed County, man. Fed County? Yeah. That shit was like goddamn Jackson, Mississippi in the 60s out there, Damn. man. Now, you feel me, yeah. man? You can't fuck around out there, man. And I just hate he got himself in that situation out there. You yeah. feel me, man? Because you know how that shit go in this game, man. Exactly. Everybody want to make an example out the goddamn big nigga. And it seems like the first thing they want to say is that they want to take his house. It's like, what does house got to do with anything? Bro, they wanted to be a precinct. They See wanted that? to be a courthouse. Some shit like that. You know what I mean, man? See that? If I was Ross, man, I would call them motherfuckers and work out a deal now to go mm -hmm. on there. Give y'all motherfuckers this house. And give me some leniency with this yeah. motherfucking shit, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely feel that. Now, I mean, coming up in the game, I mean, you rep the city and the state and the South like none other. Why was it so important for you to rep where you were from? Because nowadays, I don't even really see these folk rapping like y'all used to rep back man, then. Man, you know what? My thing, I let the niggas have Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And I came with the Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Come on, Atlanta just one city. That's right. Georgia's a state. That's right. I know a state bigger than a damn city. Exactly. <laughs> so we gonna put on the goddamn bulldog shit yeah. and rip across the whole state with this shit, man. And it worked. George was winning like a motherfucker. <laughs> it just a perfect time, man. Give me a hell, man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I care. <laughs> For real. Yeah, Them Georgia yeah. Tech niggas be giving me hell, man. What's up, Choice? All my Georgia Tech homies, boy. They give me straight hell. Yeah, yeah. Troy, man, you know we work birthday bash every year. <laughs> you don't ever come out here with no blue and goddamn yellow, man. I was like, yeah. man, y'all niggas too close, man. Y'all exactly. compete with too much shit. Y'all exactly. compete with Magic City, goddamn the varsity. Y'all motherfucker got too much competition. Yeah, yeah. Y'all going away about an hour, man. I start <laughs> fucking with y'all a little bit tougher, man. Oh, man, I can definitely dig that. What was it that inspired your music, though, Troy? 
Man, dog. Man, I've been just reflecting a lot. Mm -hmm. Just with the birthday bash and all that stuff passing, man. We talking about 15 years, man. Hell, 20 years yep. at the radio station. It was their 20th birthday yep. bash. Man, I was at four. I was at birthday bash number four. My God. <laughs> you feel me, man? <laughs> so I'm just in this bitch like, that's all right. You exactly. know what I mean? Still be relevant. Still got them shutting shows mm -hmm. down how we do. Yeah. It's dope. Do you feel like you still get the credit that you deserve for putting the state in the city on the map like you did? You know what? When you looking at Pops and Biggies mm -hmm. and stuff like that, man, I know all that shit come in due time. You yeah. feel me, man? I might not be here to witness mm -hmm. what it might be mm -hmm. when I leave, but them niggas know. Yeah. <laughs> you feel yeah. me, man? Them yeah. niggas know. They can't do that shit while you're here, man. We too young. It's... It's so crazy, man. My position is so crazy because here I am, just as young as everybody in the fucking game. Me, yeah. Future, Ross, all yeah. those boys right the same age. Yeah. But I'm 15 years deep in this shit. That's goddamn, that's pretty dope. Yeah, nah, that's crazy as hell, man. They shit. don't know where to put me, man. It's like yeah. them niggas don't know what to do. Because they don't know if you're about to come back out with another single and crack <laughs> that thing up. You see what I'm saying? I love it, man. I, I love mean, it. speaking of the music, man, CR6. Yeah, yeah, man. Tell me about it. Man, going crazy on them food, man. Go show, go to Live Mixtape, man, and download yeah, yeah. that joint, man. I call that joint the show, mm -hmm. the after party, and the funeral. Yeah. And you just got to listen to the whole thing all the way out, man. Because okay. that's about what this shit done turned into, man. Yeah, yeah. The show, the after party, <laughs> and then the funeral. Yeah, yeah. They got to change. You never lied about that. I mean, how do you feel about the city now from the time where you was ready all the way up until now? Because, you know, the A was kind of like a different vibe in a different place in the early 2000s and late 90s. Right now, man, niggas put too much emphasis in the music mm -hmm. on shit that they ain't got. Mm -hmm. But you pushing these young niggas to try to get it. And mm -hmm. they trying to do it by any means necessary. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Now, the responsibility of the rapper done went down so much that it's sad to say, it show it, 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 it go back to the community, man. Mm -hmm. That shit, nigga, that you pumping into these little young niggas, man. Yeah. They trying it. Exactly. You feel me, man? They trying it. Nigga, yeah. you ain't trying it. Exactly. Why you sending this little nigga to goddamn try it? You feel me? That's nah. what I'm tired of. You did a lot of screaming and yelling, Troy, but I mean, you had them deep lyrics that go right along with it. So yeah. you were screaming out the truth yeah. to a folk. Yeah. How did you feel bringing it that way in your whole style in itself? Because where did that style come from? Man, that was the first time that I raised my voice. Get out of here. I promise. I ain't had nothing to raise my voice about. <laughs> you feel me? What I had to raise my voice about. That yeah. was my... That was my release. Yeah. I'm the preacher's kid. I'm the preacher's son. Yeah. I can't be carrying on like that. So yeah. I've been holding that shit inside for 18, 19, 20 years just to finally say, ah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And when I did, they heard it. My God. Now, I know you hooked up with that boy player Fly for some music, too, yeah, man. Yeah, that's my baby, man. I that's mean, my tell boy. me about that, man. Because Fly, I mean, he another real one. You know, yeah. both of y'all just kind of brought that music from the heart and from the gut. Yeah. And also... Back before we get on fly, why do you think that these artists nowadays do not speak from the heart or from a real place? It's not, it's not the standard no more. Mm. We was coming off of Tupac's, yeah, Biggie's, and shit like that, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were UGK pimp and yeah. balling them. Them niggas was giving us some real spill. Yeah, we were trying to copy that shit. Exactly. This shit here ain't even nothing. We're copying. You feel me? Ain't yeah. even nothing to copy. What? Yeah. Copy is saying some shit that you can't understand. I don't know, man. You know, I don't know. And I, I ain't tripping on it, man. Everything gonna evolve. Some new shit gonna come. That's all great. Yeah. If that shit work for y'all, it work. But do any of y'all OGs ever bring these youngsters into the studio and say, "Hey, man, say something. Quit, quit fucking around and say something, nigga." Man, I like Bank Roll Fresh. Yeah, I, I like with Fresh. Fresh. I like Fresh. Yeah. I like Pee Wee. Yeah. Uh, them niggas that's kind of from the Pastor Troy cloth. You yeah. feel me? Even Walker. I love Walker yeah, too, walk. man. Yeah. I like the I like the real shit. You know, exactly. I like I like the niggas that 
they get it, man. I want to. I just want to see, man. It's 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 so crazy right now, man. Mm -hmm. It's such a gold rush to be a rapper. Such a gold rush to get mm -hmm. into this shit that mm -hmm. it don't really give you no time for no star power. You yeah. feel me, man? You like, God damn. By the time I like a song, learn that motherfucker. It's the out rotation. It's a new yeah. motherfucking nigga in this bitch. I'm like, yeah. damn. Who is that? You feel me, man? Oh, that's got down such and such and such and such. That's right. He got a name? Oh, what else he got? Oh, he got nothing else. This is the only one he got. <laughs> okay. If he get another one, I'll learn his name. How did you feel about industry politics and just navigating that? Because that's the whole other side of it that a lot of artists don't know. Or just the general yeah. public. They think that it's all fun and yeah, games, but yeah. they don't know that your favorite artist might not have had no music because they mm -hmm. was on lock for three years from yeah. the label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like that, man. I'm just glad to be able to control my own destiny, man. Yeah. You know? Independent, black owned. I got my own label. Yeah. Pastor Troy is an artist on my label. Yeah. And that's really dope, man. A lot of niggas can't say that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, man, I ain't even got to sign another contract. Yeah. It's whatever I agree to. Exactly. You know what I mean? And that's just a dope place to be, man. It's yeah. just a dope place to be. I let everybody live and learn, man. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Yes, sir. You'll see. You got to taste it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, you and Fly, man, how did y'all boys hook up, man? Family, man. I'm talking yeah. about... Shit, I was his favorite rapper. He was my favorite rapper. Oh, we finally man. met. Yeah. And when we met, man, we have been just talking about making music, man. For ten years, we've been talking about doing this shit, man. Yeah. It just was, just came down to the time, man. He was coming down here to Atlanta, hanging out with me, man. We just got in the studio and went in. Yeah. And the album, dope too, man. For the Fly fans, for the Troy fans, yeah. and we rapping like a group. We passing that shit like yeah, yeah. Run DMC on that motherfucker, <laughs> man. Going in. Yeah, yeah. Doing some different shit. Now, how do you feel like the city's grown since that time in a positive way? Um, the jobs and everything that this whole music shit created, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm looking at little niggas who ain't had shit. Yeah. They're straight now, fucking with this music shit. So, that's real dope. Exactly. That's real dope. You know what I mean? But respect it so it can keep on goddamn going, man. Don't let yeah. that motherfucker get snatched away from me. Hell yeah. yeah. Movie right here, man. We was homeboys. Yeah, man. Independent joint, man. I wrote that joint, executive produced it. Yeah. Starting in it. You know, yeah, I just, yeah. man, I like owning shit, man. Exactly. You know what I mean, man? I like owning what shit. What made you decide to get into the film, though? Man, just the transition of the city, man. You know, mm -hmm. I yeah. operate, uh, my studio operate out of Peter Street, right yeah. there in that whole Castleberry Hill area, man. You know, yeah, every day you step out yeah. in that motherfucker, that's <laughs> an 18 wheelers right there. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, man, shit. They ain't out here just doing this shit for nothing. You exactly. know what I mean? Let me go on and got down. <laughs> Get throw in. me some in the <laughs> throw me some in the water too, bro. <laughs> throw me some eyes in the fire. Exactly. Shit. Another classic record I gotta ask you about, man. That backup, you and Baby D, Oom yeah. Count, man. I mean, how did that junk come about? Man, they're my boys, man. You yeah. know, I got a lot of respect for for Oom and uh, yeah. everything that he was doing in the city, man. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just dope, man. It was just a real dope. It was a family movement, man. Yeah. Us boys was family, man. We were we were really around here like fam. Yeah. Because we were working so hard to put this shit on the map. You yeah. feel me, man? It wasn't shit yet. So we had to come together and stick together. Mm -hmm. Now with it being in a place, niggas forget that it wasn't always like this. Uh -huh. You know what I mean, man? Shit. I remember going to New York, performing mm -hmm. at the tunnel and shit like that, yeah. man. Cranking that vice versa up with that goddamn with a moet ball in my hand and he ain't got a problem, I'ma bust the shit out of nigga this motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. Now I hit New York, before I get out the goddamn car, I hear goddamn future. I hear commas yeah. coming in the, coming out that motherfucker, man. Yeah. I'm telling them boy, that's great. Yeah. But man, we like motherfucking niggas in the Civil War. Yeah. Goddamn we're fighting for this shit, man. We're fighting for this shit. I know, I know that I'm one of the first niggas. That made them niggas in New York say, man, we gonna check these niggas out down south. They might be down talking about something. That vice exactly. versa shit, oh, niggas yeah. coming down here from the triad, the CAU, and yeah. all that shit, man, they yeah, couldn't get yeah. away from them. They yeah, had to start yeah. hating on that. Oh, fuck Atlanta, fuck everything in Atlanta. That shit was just, the tide was slowly changing. Exactly. A lot of them New York niggas be like, man, Troy, I fuck with your shit. Your shit was the first shit I listened to down south, son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me, nigga, that's right, <laughs> son. <laughs> What was it like coming up with all of that opposition, man? Because I hear that a lot. You know, Atlanta rappers was trying to put it on the map, and they were getting so much resistance from every place else. Bro, the craziest part about it, to me, mm -hmm. was that I was one of the niggas that was in. Mm -hmm. But I was by myself. I needed some allies. 
And that's when I let the other niggas goddamn come up in the city. Man, come on, we had just crushed Master P. You don't mm -hmm. think I could have stumped out anything coming in the, up yeah. in the city, man? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. wasn't my approach to the shit. But at the same time, I didn't know giving a nigga a little life to fly, you wasn't gonna goddamn holler back at your partner. Talk to me about that though, man, because I mean that's that's another thing that kind of starts folks to crabbing because you might not have been originally that way, yeah. but then when you try to help so many folks in the game and they turn around and stab you in the back, yeah. or they don't know who he is after you don't put him in the game, then you're yeah. like, well, you know what? I'm not gonna be so I'm yeah. not gonna be so quick to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with me, my thing is these niggas still scared of me. Mm -hmm. They still know that. They can't out rap me. Yeah. They know I'm a, my verse is going to take over the goddamn song. That's right. And you just don't want to do verses with a nigga that's going to do your song like that. You <laughs> feel me? I just don't uh, have to learn that. I got to cut back. Yeah. If I want to do some features and shit around these motherfuckers, I got to cut back. Come on, man. What feature you done heard a nigga drown me? I ain't heard now. That's that why I had to go to that one with Banner, because that's one of my favorite <laughs> yeah, songs right yeah, now. You would have yeah. thought that was your song, but you and Banner, I mean, Banner had that production that was just deadly. That's good. And that, that's one thing that I wanted, too. Why didn't you get more trash from Banner, too, besides your own? To. Yeah, I need to, man. Banner, he's still making the beats and messing around, too. Yeah, I was fucking yeah. with him, man. It was just a real dope time. You know, that time I started messing with Toomp a little bit. Yeah. Everything was straight. I mean, Timberland too, though. Damn, oh, man. Oh, we couldn't. I mean, tell me about how that joint came about. That was tight. Universal, man. They just wanted me to cross over a little bit, man. Yeah. Troy, all right, man, you're doing good down here, man. But you could just be so much bigger. Yeah. And it was cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Something to try, something to learn. I hated that damn record, man. You Get know out of here, man. I mean, I you know that record dropped, and a lot of folks sounded like that record after it dropped, oh, though. Oh, yeah, man. That Friday night. Yeah. That's Jeezy. Old thing, man. My boy Shotty Red just told me straight up, like Troy, man. I should talk, I talked Jeezy out of ad little ball for goddamn all we could. Oh my God, that's crazy. But that's the kind of strength and power a nigga had. Man. How did you feel though when you would hear that in the music? Because you know you was bringing you know, that to the I table. Because sometimes it makes it hard for you to be an artist. Because you know your ad lib is your ad lib. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm snub. Uh, you know. David. I'm flattered. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm flattered. That's all I can say about yeah, this shit. Yeah, You know. I I love for them boys to uh, let us make more music together. Yeah, yeah. Because I got something to show you, bro. Is that, and see, that's another thing, man. Why aren't we seeing the artists working together like they used to? Because like you said, you featured on so many folks' music yeah. that help crank up a crunk yeah. movement. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Man, niggas get selfish, man. Niggas don't want nobody around them, man. Niggas want to be goddamn by themselves, man. I want these mother, I want these bitches looking at me, not at us. But it's enough for them to go around. It's enough money to go around, though. That's where you got to get into the niggas' cloth. Yeah. And blood. What's in you? What you about? You yeah. Mean, what kind of nigga is you, man? A lot of niggas tell. My God. So that's one of the things that kind of get me about this industry, too. I'm saying, man. You know, yeah. you know. I'm talking about, man, all the fake salutes and shit from Cosmic Club, man. Yeah. I'm, I don't even look at that shit. You feel me? I be on that real shit, nigga. Mm. If we ain't pounding up, locking up, yeah. it is what it is. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. It is what it is. No, I can't blame that at all, man. I mean, lastly, Troy, what else you got to get off your chest? What you got going on? Oh, man, I'm chilling, man. Yeah. Much love, everybody fucking with PT Cruiser, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate everything y'all done did for me over these 15 years, man. Mm -hmm. For me and my family, man, this shit been real beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing stopping. It's all popping. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to get into some, uh, I'm, I'm about to crank some distribution up, man. Uh. It's called Mars Distribution. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm telling them, man, our slogan, we'll sell your music on Mars. Ooh. With the Mars distribution, with the whole transition with the music, man, it ain't no real physical CD no more, man. Right. Come on, I got a new ride, and ain't got a CD player in it. You know what I mean? That's so, right. the digital is the way to go. Mm -hmm. And I got digital distribution across all of the outlets from Shazam, Rhapsody, iTunes, Google Play, mm -hmm. YouTube, Cricket Communications, you know, yeah. everybody. Everybody, man, digital distribution. Uh, and we just do it for a percentage, man. And, uh, set up fee yeah. and put your stuff into the marketplace. Everybody down here rapping mm -hmm. and giving away their music because they don't know how to sell it. Yeah, you know what I mean, man. I just been sitting around here saying, "What the fuck are y'all doing, man? Yeah. You just gave away twenty songs for free, man. 
06, 07, I sold like a $72,008 a piece. Mm. And y'all turn around and start giving away music. Y'all fucked up the money with this shit, man. Them, these niggas fucked up good money, man. Yeah. This shit was some, it was some money in this exactly. shit. Exactly. It was some money in this shit. On the independent side. Yeah, what well, Raheem man, was just talking about. $8 a CD, $7 a CD, selling forty, fifty thousand, dollars And you could do it again three times a year. Man, what niggas eating? These motherfuckers come with this new shit. Here, man. Here. They so thirsty for it and wanted to be in so bad. Here. You can have it. Man, motherfucker crackers say, God damn. If your music worth buying, mm -hmm. don't give it away for free. Yeah. If it's worth buying, don't give it away. I mean, when you have you addressed any of these younger folks and said, hey, man, why you giving your stuff away? Or man, they just, just ain't trying to hear nothing. I mean, I just be looking from the outside, man, like a G'd up ass coach. Yeah. Just watching these motherfuckers walk, walk by with this shit, yeah. just saying, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> it's a trip, man, but distribution is the way. If you ain't selling this shit, how you plan on getting some money out of this motherfucker? What made you decide to get into the distribution game, though? From seeing it. Uh -huh. Man, come on, man. I step out on Peter Street on a weekend like a birthday bash or yeah. shit like that, man. Nigga might hear me. I'm talking about I might be out there five minutes and leave out that bitch with goddamn a thousand CDs. Yeah. I'm talking about a thousand. That's real. Artwork, 21 songs, everything. Yeah. What? What? What's the plan? Yeah. If it, what's the plan? My CD is just another one of these? I mean, a nigga, yeah, Troy, I rap. I rap too. Yeah. You rap like me? <laughs> if it, you rap like me? Yeah. I, it got to be some kind of, I think it need to be a rap driver's license. A license. <laughs> you feel me? You Like everything else. Like you can't do this shit unless you got a license. Exactly. I think it ought to be some, some kind of way to set up a license I for this shit. That. I feel that. You feel me, man? Like, I feel that. Nigga, until you done did this, <laughs> you ain't no rapper. That's right. You, is, you got a learner's life. Yeah. Until you done did this shit, now nah, you got a license. <laughs> <laughs> For now, real. Another question that I got to ask before we get up out of here. What the craziest thing that you done seen a fan do? Because you know you got some diehard fans. Uh, shit. This girl got a badass Pastor Troy on her on her arm, man. Uh -huh. All like on her leg, man. She yeah. got my whole face, man. I'm talking about it's my face, my hat, my shades. <laughs> it's an album cover, man. Homegirl <laughs> did that joint on her leg. Tattoo artist, that bitch bad. She got like me. She got all us boys from the south, man. It's like yeah. me, Master P, UGK. She got all us niggas on that. That that's was cold. really dope. Yeah, that's, that's really cold. dope. I got a lot of tattoo love though, man. That shit was tight, man. DSGB. Niggas just felt so a part of it, yeah. man. You from Georgia, nigga, man. I'm DSGB. Exactly. You know what I mean? We, exactly. we let niggas embrace it like that, man. That's that was true, a genius man. ass That's thing true. to do. Man, I can definitely dig it with Troy. Hey, man, all my pleasure. Appreciate you coming through hey, this man, thing, man, my dog. Love, Wish man. you hey, man. the best. Sorry it took y'all, uh, sorry it took 24 months, man. <laughs> I don't do too much interviewing, but I do that shit for y'all, boy. Already, man. Appreciate right, you coming through. You know it, guys. Be high radio, shout it. Pastor Troy, hot 107.9.